First of all, I want to talk about the general due diligence. No matter the type of property you're going to buy, you actually want to check 10 things as due diligence. Let's say whether you're buying or selling, you're looking at the buyer. Does the buyer, and, and this, is not, this may not be in your, um, is it in your material? Oh yeah, you have it here, okay. So the buyer, is the buyer knowledgeable? Let's say you're selling a commercial deal. You gotta look at the buyer. Does the buyer know what he or she is doing? Are they flexible if things are happening or changing? Are they qualified? Do they have the money? Do, are they creative enough to work something? If you tell that buyer, listen, I'm willing to carry a note, does he or she understand what you're talking about? Do they have that knowledge? Are they flexible to say, okay, I'll work with you? Are they responsible if they say, okay, I'm gonna show up at four o'clock so I can meet with the appraiser and all this, do they show up? Are they resourceful? If they can't find something, are they finding another lender? Are they working with other people? Are they maybe raising the money? Are they able to perform as they say? Are they stable in their life? You know, you want to know if somebody's going to perform with you as a, another side of a deal? Find out about their life. Is the guy unstable? Is he out of a job into this and started that and never finished this? In a small conversation, you'll get to know if that person is qualified enough for you to do deal with them or not. And are they focused and with a plan? And you can ask somebody, you want to buy my property? So what's the plan? What if that buyer is somebody coming in with you to buy with you? Well, find out, is, is that person, do they know what they're talking about? Are they qualified to come in with you? Can they actually add value to the deal? You want people preferably experienced. So number one thing I look for is the buyer. And if I am the buyer, I'm asking myself, you know, I'm not going to go buy an airplane, for example. Why? I'm not knowledgeable about airplanes, so I'll have no flexibility whatsoever. I'm, I'm, I have no idea how to be creative in purchasing an airplane. I don't even know what's better, to buy it full or to buy fraction. All I know is it's better to just fly Delta or American Airlines. So, you see, as a buyer of something I don't know, I won't qualify, so that will be out. In a commercial transaction, you want to make sure the buyer is right. Now, you look at the market. This is a macro view. So I want to buy in, let's say, San Francisco. How is that market? The market must be good and getting better. Okay, so the market must be trending in the right direction. By the way, what is the market in general in the United States trending right now? Anybody knows? Residential real estate. Does anybody know? Is it going down? Is it going up? Or is it flat? What do you think? So how many people say it's going up? One, two, three. Okay, nationwide I'm talking. Three say it's going up. How many people staying flat this year? Flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 staying flat, we're talking residential. How many people say it's going down? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six going down. I will buy from the people thinking it's going down I'll sell to the people thinking it's going up. Really? And I'll chat with these people and see if I can scare them so they can think it's going down so I can buy from them. Or I can create excitement for them so I can sell them the property I have. Because nobody really knows. 